Welcome to my week in my life and happy Monday. Today I started my morning with an amazing ambiance right by Union Square at a cafe called Outro Cafe. I started my morning by entering my journaling phase and as many of you know, I am currently in a transitional period of my life. Now, I want to start before I even talked about my journaling this day about a quote by Nancy Levin. It reads, honor the space between no longer and not yet. I'll read that one more time. Honor the space between no longer and not yet. And I know for myself, I am always in a rush to the next thing, to the next big thing, to the next trend. And I am one who loves instant gratification. I've talked about this so many times. So I am really at a point where I just need to step back, let go and let God and this journaling has really been helping me kind of amplify that aspect of my life because it has been so hard to really let things go to chance i mean at the end of the day i stress about so many little things that if i didn't stress about i could work towards all my other goals so i'm really trying to internalize this and i want you guys to take away this if you take away anything from today's video Without further ado, as I close up my journal, I get ready to receive one of the best tasting matchas I have ever seen. Now, I know you're wondering why I'm probably doing a voiceover, but uh, unfortunately, the audio I recorded there was so awful. It was super loud, super windy. So I just wanted to give you guys a little calm vibe. Like the city is already so chaotic. Why start off a city vlog that chaotic? So now you will see me just try this matcha, this beautiful matcha bomb. I mean, look at her. She is giving color. She is giving, ooh, she's giving moist. She's giving everything I ever needed a matcha bomb to give. After my taste test, I took some photos for Instagram because I always love to get extra content, especially when I'm paying for it. And then before I head out, I journaled a little bit more just because I love the ambiance, you guys. Like, this place is such a vibe. Catch me here 24-7, probably, most of the time. Yeah. As I browsed around Union Square, I came across Cure Thrift Shop, and they actually work to benefit diabetes research. So I think it's super cool because they have an amazing cause, and they also have pretty good prices on amazing vintage pieces. Now, obviously pretty good prices to amazing vintage pieces is always going to be a lot of money, but I think the cause behind this store actually even stands out more, especially to me, I think. Just I know a lot of people who have diabetes, and so I think it's so important to really like pay attention to where you shop know what causes and know what they're like paying back to in a sense but this place had amazing pieces you guys super expensive very 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 expensive i won't lie but i think coming for a cause shopping for a cause is one thing and you guys kind of have to gauge how you want to shop too obviously okay guys there's a lot of music in the background i don't want copyright but when I tell you guys, this is insane. I've never seen my neighborhood like this ever. It is so crazy. Let me quickly say this before copyright gets me. It's changed my entire neighborhood, so. The next couple clips are just me completely shook at how much has changed in my neighborhood. I mean, I live in the Lower East Side and it has completely transformed. I feel like they're gentrifying the area so much. It seems like they're trying to appease the white eye and I was just very caught off guard by all the new things that were around my neighborhood. Thank you so much. Um, and are you all set to order some food? I honestly, I didn't expect this. So I think I'm good on food. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. If I want some food later, I will get some. Okay, family, what's going on? Happy Tuesday. I feel like I've been vlogging for a while, but I think it's just for my travel vlog. So, okay, it's Tuesday. Clearly already said that. <laughs> I am at one of my favorite coffee shops called The Roost. They have amazing matcha. This spot has a really nice outdoor area. So if you haven't seen it yet, commencing B-roll so you can see. And it's just so nice, very scenic, very greenhouse energy. And um, clearly repeating the matcha. We're on trend, we're on brand today. Um, I am wearing red lipstick though. Just 
be to be a little off brand. It is insanely hot though, you guys. Like I don't know if I'm like losing my mind, but it's just so hot and um I know it's only gonna get hotter, so <laughs> buckling on the straps. I decided that I wanted to do a little bit of journaling right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But after, I'm probably just gonna chill, maybe do a little meditation, be on the phone with Sam for a little bit, and then um, I'm gonna go to one of my favorite thrift stores in this area. So if you guys are going to come to this coffee shop, then go to L Train Vintage with me, or by yourself. Um, it is right on First Avenue in between 12th and 13th, I believe. It is such a nice thrift store though. Um, so whenever I go to the thrift store, I love to come here and get a cup of coffee. It's just a vibe. So come along and let's journal together and then go on an amazing thrifting adventure. Don't you love it when you're living your best life and everyone around you can tell you're living your best life and they try to intrude, but you don't let them? That's what I call vibes. Especially this matcha oat latte. Ooh, y'all, I love oat milk. I love a matcha oat latte. And it just, it hit different here. I always love to come out of my way to go to the Roost because it's just an amazing coffee shop. And they also have a bar in the back, fun fact, on Thursday through Saturday. So if you are ever in town in the Lower East Side area, this is a spot you need to check out. So I was on the phone with Sam for a little bit and then I journaled, which was really nice, you guys. Again, like I've said, the past couple weeks have been really intense. It's been such a transitional phase. And so I think journaling has really helped me reconcile a lot of my feelings, a lot of the new transitional like things that are coming up in my life. Like every day there is something new and it is just an adjustment. It is a transition and, you know, <laughs> can't say it enough, but I really enjoy this time journaling and doing it at a cafe or at a coffee shop that I actually love even means more to me just because there's a lot of memories here. Like I used to come here with friends. I used to come here with my mom. So it's definitely one of my favorite coffee shops on the Lower East Side. I also really love this little chit chat thing that I've been doing while I journal. I feel like it's super intentional. It adds another dimension to it. It's like Demi Lovato's podcast, like 4D, time and space. Like. I really love just being able to talk to you guys. This is like literally my stream of conscious like thoughts, you know, and it's it's really nice to just be able to sit here, say what I'm thinking, even look through my journal passages and really like know where I stood in that moment because sometimes when I'm vlogging, I get so caught up, like I don't really know how I felt in that moment. So it's nice for me to sit here and be able to just like tell you guys how I felt, look through my journal and be like, wow, I was sad this day or I was happy or I was just neutral. Let me know what you guys think of this journal content. I mean, I don't want to continue it and overdo it. <laughs> and sometimes I, you know, over talk, but I like just having a little moment to just say what I need to say. Cause sometimes I feel like I cut myself off. I edit stuff so fast and I really want to know if you guys like this journal content or if you guys want me to kind of like cut it out or just maybe even like make it shorter um but yeah let me know and in the meantime as i wrap up my journaling let's go to l train vintage really funny story because I um I went to L Train Vintage as you guys saw and the lady told me which I look respectfully I understand but she was like you can't film in here and I was like what because I, I filmed several vlogs like if you go way way back in my channel you'll see that maybe like they got in trouble for pe like people got in trouble for filming stuff or I don't know y'all it was weird it was weird I'm used to being able to film there I've filmed there so many times for so many different types of vlogs but anyways I want to show you guys what I copped so you guys could see I got this really cute like living single type outfit it's it was 10 bucks as you saw everything was really really cheap so yeah hopefully i'll rock this soon hey guys <laughs> um as you can probably tell it is wednesday different day different vibe currently drinking my smoothie you know 
the vibes. Okay, it's currently like what? Almost 1.30, maybe like 1.15. Um, I got out of the shower, I ate, uh, I went to the gym before all that. I feel like I should take you guys to the gym at some point, maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday, but if not, you guys will see it in upcoming vlogs too. I got to New York a few days ago, as you guys know, and my mom gave me her scent, um, which she just didn't like this. Obviously, like wearing the same scent as somebody else, probably you shouldn't do that. But she did give me this, and so it smells really good. It's um, Chanel's Gabriel, and, or Gabrielle. I don't know what they want it to be titled as, but it is so nice, you guys. I mean, I just really love the mist on it. It's just beautiful. And like, even the sunlight you guys will probably see in a sec. It's so beautiful. It comes on really nice. And all you really need is two spritz because it's that potent. And you can just like spread it around everywhere. And you smell good for hours and hours. Like I'm talking 24 hours. You can try to shower this bad boy will still smell like it so shout out to Chanel Gabrielle I'm gonna do my lips kind of similar to yesterday I really liked it and I'm wearing a very similar color top so let's get it probably gonna look this way as I do it though just like you know <laughs> This lip combo is just iconic. Also, when I wore it yesterday, it like truly, when I tell you, it lasted not 24 hours, but like I left the house at around like probably 12:31, and it lasted till like right before dinner, like five. It was like a really nice four-hour wear, which is kind of insane for the summer. Um, I feel like makeup and a lot of other products in terms of like skincare, so like facial care, all that kind of stuff. I just assume they're gonna like melt off. Like I can't put body glitter on in the summer as much as I would love to, you know? I'm putting on some very light jewelry as you guys are seeing. Um, and then this chunka chunka. She's so cute, she should be a little necklace, but it's actually a bracelet. <laughs> I got my mom to put this on for me because sometimes bracelets are challenging. Can we all agree on that? Sometimes they are. Just to give you the itinerary for the day, we're gonna go to South Street Seaport because that was like the hot spot growing up and it seems like it's back open and I actually saw some reservations so I'm definitely gonna be going back. We're just gonna, I think, just go scout it out, see what's up, like see if it's even open like that and see if it's worth making a day trip out of. But we'll probably enjoy the view while we're there. I'm actually gonna look up a coffee shop around South Street Seaport just to see the vibes i haven't been there in so long so that will be fun if you're in new york comment down some amazing little spots to visit because i don't really know much going on i'm like a tourist in my own city so you know let me know what's up because <laughs> i don't know everything at this point i found a very very nice cafe that has la slash new york prices and guess what it's called it's called malibu farms which is crazy because like malibu in new york um okay so i'm feeling very nostalgic i feel like this is the perfect place because we picked south street seaport this morning actually last night we were talking about it but um we really solidified the plans this morning so like there being a malibu farms right there is a sign that it's about <laughs> it's a sign that it's about to be amazing so come along and let's Go to Malibu Farms. We got to South Street Seaport and oh my God, you guys, it was so beautiful. It still had the cobblestone grounds. It still had the South Street Seaport Museum. It still had basically everything, including the McNally Jackson bookstore. And so I was just super excited. The view, oh, what a sight for sore eyes.
Before this vlog ends, one more time, I'm taking you on another journal entry. I know, I'm sorry. If you're getting sick of it, let me know so I can adjust it before the next video. But I just feel like this is so important to talk about, especially because I used to come here all the time growing up. South Street Seaport was not only my spot, it was my childhood. I really have a huge connection to this location. I feel so much gratitude that I'm able to come back to a place I grew up in and kind of like look back on a lot of my memories, reflect in a sense on what has happened in the last like four years, especially in my college career and kind of like accept all the good, all the bad that's happened and recognize that I wouldn't be here had it not been for all those experiences combined together. But it, was so emotional you guys i was like oh my god i am about to cry kind of not really but it was so intense and i also feel like those are such great journal moments like that's when you know you're writing a great entry but also you're having a great transformation or you're having a great epiphany and those are always great moments because you realize that like your life is either coming full circle or that you need to change something i appreciate those moments more than anything because they're either wake up calls or it's just such a nice sweet spot like you feel like wow i made it i'm back here after everything that's happened and i'm still in one piece i'm still alive like shout out to god and you know we just live life we love life and we keep on going baby as i wrapped up this journal entry i made sure to also write all the goals that i completed that day and make sure you know that i don't forget and don't leave any goal out because half the time I feel like I sleep on my own achievements too and that's something I think we all need to stop doing like getting out of bed is an achievement okay ma'am write it down be proud <laughs> but the next thing I do after this is enjoy my beautiful matcha latte it was so good you guys and Malibu Farm obviously sounds very organic and obviously it was there was no sweet no additives and i really like that in terms of matcha because matcha is supposed to be super healthy anyways and it just tasted like true matcha like i was living my best life since we are here i decided to visit the bathroom i love going to places with bathrooms i know that sounds weird i just like checking out their bathrooms because the bathrooms are always so dope speaking of the bathroom that's so dope Check this one out. I mean, it's so cute. Look at these really, really cute lights. And then they've got like the lights over there. This cool safe that just like starts when you like step safe. It's giving Malibu. And then you got this. And then you got, okay, this is the best part. I'm gonna do it now and hop on in real quick to my, my stall, but okay, ready? I know, right? It's kind of frightening. Okay guys, I came to a Whole Foods. I have some coupons from Kulina to get some yogurt. So I decided to stop by my local Whole Foods. Shout out to Kalina for giving me these amazing coupons because I got myself a blueberry lavender yogurt and I also got myself a plain and simple one. All right, so um, I did go to Whole Foods. Uh, I vlogged on my phone a little bit, but yeah, it was it was interesting. It was a very weird experience. My coupons like wouldn't work for a second, and like the attendant like helped me, and it all worked out. Um, I just had dinner. Time check. It's literally six fifty nine, so seven p.m. So I'm gonna go shower and just kind of like edit for a little bit, chill, and then I'm gonna try go to bed early again. I went to bed at like ten. 30 last night or something like that and it was really really nice so i'm gonna try to just like edit from now to like probably 8 30 and then watch a show till i sleep 